Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today we're in beautiful, frigid, freezing San Francisco. What's the old saying? The coldest winter I ever spent was the summer in San Francisco. Well, it's winter time. It's foggy and it's cold as shit out here. Anyway, what we're doing is we're gonna match this um, decorative block design here. And I, they sent me an email. And so I was looking at the email and I thought, wow, that's, um, we're actually here now. So the email, I was looking at it and I thought, okay, I've done this about 20 times, but this is the first time Jay and I are actually putting this kind of work on film. So I brought all my concrete tools. And these tools are simply to put grout lines or expansion joints in concrete. So what we did is I brought them all. I'll use this one to prove a point. You see that big blade there? You put it on concrete and it makes an expansion joint. So uh, personally, none of these, these are all too big. I knew this was too big. This one is just right, like in the three bears. You see that? Just right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lath, scratch, and brown this. And then I'm going to dash it and apply this texture. I'm going to take my levels there and put my levels horizontal and put my lines in it with this tool here. And fortunately, I can't believe how lucky we got these lines here, the grout lines, expansion joints, what you want to call, are in sets, increments of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. I thought, man, that's just too easy. Over here on this side, I was going to remove that piece of uh, stucco, but it is a perfect set of increment of 10, so we're gonna leave that there. Anyhow, we're gonna lap this up, and my corners are going to be, um, let me turn that damn thing off. My corners are gonna be inset because when I get my detail here, I wanna come around, and if my corner bead is sticking out for a template, then I won't be able to turn around. So I'm going to put the corners on and inset them and then just mud right over them by a quarter inch. That way I can take it and turn this corner here. We'll show you how to do it. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a fun thing to do. I've done it, again, 20 times. So we'll show you guys how we actually do this. All right, guys, we're not going to show you how we scratch this whole thing. That's kind of unimportant. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and scratch this. And by the way, guys, uh, we laugh this. Here we're two inches thick. So if we're going two inches thick, you can put a little extra wire. You don't have to fasten your wire as tight. We want a good fur. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and scratch all of this. When we come back to do that second coat, that's what we're really going to show you. All right, guys, now that we've got all the mud on that we want to put on, what I've done is I've used this wall as a template. Here's my expansion joint. So I went from here to here. You could also, also measure down. I've used this wall over here as a template. So we already have two walls to work with. And what I did is we take our expansion joint after we put on a couple coats, then we kind of just line it up. What I'll do here is I'll make my indentation. Then I'll get this level here and I'll line it up. Let's see, best I can. And let's see here, get my expansion joint where I want it and get this level. Let's see. Oh, that looks level. And then what I'll do is I'll put my expansion joints in. And this is, this is just uh, one more step. We still have got to dash this whole thing. You might say, what the heck is a dash? Well, I'll show you in as soon as I line this last one up here. And what you want to do is, is line these holes up and scrape them. Okay, so we're gonna do that right there. And it doesn't matter what it looks like right now, it can be ugly because we still gotta dash it. What the heck does dash mean? It means we take this brush right here, we dip it in soupy mud. Now you say, wow, you're gonna mess up your pretty work. That's okay, guys. What we're gonna do now is, is dash it. Now this is gonna match their finish and also, yeah, I still got to put a line in here, but that's okay. For the sake of explaining this, this is fine here. And I still got to put the lines, and I still got to put the verticals. There are vertical lines that are going to go on this one here. On this side, I already installed some of the verticals just to, to give me a pattern, an idea where the heck I'm at. So what I'm going to do is finish this right here. 
And then once I, once I have this done, I'm going to go ahead and put my final lines in it. And here's a tip, guys. Once that's done there, you take your expansion and you just go right back over it. You can free, free form it. Use your eye to get that. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll figure out where my verticals go and we'll show you that part too. Okay guys, we've reached the point of multitasking. We're doing about 10 different things at once now. And what I'm doing is dashing everything. I went ahead and put my horizontal and vertical lines. The only thing I got to do now is some uh, uh, trowel marks to match what they've done. And I've done this every which way you guys can imagine. And, uh, I've done this at least 25 t different ways. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is I'm wetting my trowel. I'm going to go with some lines that they have. They have them like this. One, two, and they have four in these. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, and so on. And then what I'll do is, well, I'll finish this off. Just to prove a point. And then what I, I want to match, I have to, I'm going to take a guess that these are where those are. Then the last thing I do is take my expansion joint. Again, this is for concrete, guys. And just go over it and get rid of some of that excess dash. And just look at it. Just like that. Get rid of that excess dash that's on these expansion marks. When right here, just look at the bottom, line it up, bring it to the top, come down, shake it off. Here again, the same exact thing. You guys get where I'm going with this? And as I said, we're doing a whole bunch of multitasking stuff, so I'm gonna call it an end to this explanation. And what we'll do is we'll show you the whole thing when we're completely done with it. Okay, guys, we're all set. I think it come out real nice, match what they have. I would suggest if any of you homeowners try to do this, scratch it, come back the next day. Don't try to do it all in one day. It's a lot of work and you gotta know your cements, the weathers and all that difficult stuff. Anyhow, my buddy Robert Miller, he did the whole front of this building here. Uh, we are in San Francisco. Robert uh, Miller is located in Oakland or San Pablo by Oakland. Let me give you his telephone number in case you guys have some intricate stuff you need completed. Robert Miller, 510 area code 599-2682. I've done several projects for him. Great guy. Anyway, folks, we thank you for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys on the next one.